Hi and welcome to Just Ask Chris. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Katja... Kar... Karacha? Katja? It depends on how you want to say it. I mean, they've got it written differently to up here. It's, uh... Anyway, German branded uh, window vacuum cleaner. Uh, which I've had for about two, uh, three weeks now and um, have been using it on windows and on mirrors and I wanted to, yeah, give my opinion, give my review on this. This one is actually, let me just double check, this one is actually the Karacha WindowVac WV2 Plus N. There we go. Um, yeah, so this one came with uh, this window vacuum cleaner as it is with this big head and then also this smaller head here that you can see and this is for smaller windows. Also came with a piston pump, um, yeah, I've got a cloth so you, you, you put some soapy water in so Catcher comes with a yeah, it comes with its own liquid. I just used some uh, washing up liquid and then you spray this onto the window. You can use this to clean the window first, uh, make it nice and wet, and then use the vacuum cleaner to suck all of this off. You can then use the vacuum cleaner to get rid of all of the water. Um, but I've mainly been using this to actually get rid of condensation from our bedroom window. So I've got pretty crappy double glazing upstairs, especially in the bedrooms. And in the morning with these cold um, evenings that we've been having, it gets pretty wet. Um, previously what I'd be doing is, is like using a normal squeegee on there and then there'd be loads of water on the window so I'd have to mop it all up. So I thought, let's try this out. I got this from Amazon. Uh, it was 53, 50, no, 55 euros, which I think was reasonable. I've seen it elsewhere for uh, more expensive. Um, the battery life on this is meant to be 35 minutes. I've not hit 35 minutes yet. I usually use it for a few days and then I charge it up. I only do a, a few windows. Yeah, apart from that, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So this comes with two heads. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, this is the big one, this is the only one I've used. If you want to change the head, it's really simple. You just squeeze this bit here. So let's squeeze it there. And then that part comes off, you see. And then you can just get the next head here and literally just kind of like push it on and it clicks and then it's done. Um, if you wanted to clean the whole thing or change the whole thing, there's also sort of a double squeeze here. You just squeeze it everything comes off there and then this allows you actually to get to the water bottle and this is where all the water comes in through kind of vacuum so you can just like pull this off it's not so difficult just like pull that out and you see it's got this vacuum part like that and then you can literally just kind of um, unwedge this just like hold on easier said than done there we go and this allows you to uh, take the whole thing to pieces maintenance get all the water out if you want to and I think even change the battery although I don't have a spare battery haven't got that far yet all right let me put all this back together just do this quickly squeeze it in there done so one of the things I was concerned about or just wondering was how loud it is. I don't think this thing is very loud. It says um, on the website, what did it say, 50 decibels, I think? I don't know how much, how loud that is, but it's not, listen, yeah. Yeah, see the green light comes on when it's on. You just squeeze, switch it off. Simple as that. Let's go and have a look at how it actually copes with the windows. I will go and um, do the bedroom windows and then also let's have a look at the bathroom, how we can use it to squeegee those. Go halfway down like that. And just uh, across. have one window. And 
there you have it. So not a perfect job, but it gets it done pretty quickly. And then you can see here, the tank is actually completely full of water. So that's how much water came out of the, uh, off the windows. Once you've finished, all you need to do is to empty the water out. It's very simple. You just pull this up like that. And then just pour, just pour the water out. There. It also works really well on steamed up windows like these. So, um, what do I think of this overall? Would I recommend it? Um, <clears throat> overall, I have found that it allowed me to clean windows that I wouldn't, well, I usually find harder to clean. So, my son's windows, um, they open inwards, and the only way to clean the, uh, the windows from the outside is to open them inwards, and then you know, you squeeze your water that goes into the house and you have to put towels down and it gets quite messy. So yes, I've actually found for cleaning some windows this to be really good and better than the old method I had which brought a lot of dirt and water inside. For the windows which have condensation on them in the morning, I found this has been much better as well. I was getting loads of water on the window sills. That was making the window sills um, well, they started to draw the water in, so this stopped that from happening. It is a bit quicker as well, I will say. You, you can sort of squeegee without having to have a bowl and a cloth to, um, to mop up all of the water. And it's super easy, you know, just open like this and just pour, get all the water out afterwards, plug it in once you've used it for a, a couple of days. So yeah, for, for condensation on the windows I'm using it on, for cleaning tricky windows, I found this to be really good. So. I would definitely recommend this. 55 euros, yeah, it's, uh, it's worth its, uh, its weight. So this gets uh, my recommendation. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if it has been, then please subscribe and like it. And I uh, look forward to seeing you with the next video. Thanks a lot.